500 hectares of land. Over 750,000 tons of sand fill. This massive expanse of land sits the Dangote fertilizer. With the Nigerian population projected to rise to 262 million by 2030 and 398 million by 2050, little wonder that Dongote Industries Limited, a true leader in the Nigerian business space, seized the initiative to actualize a vision where Nigeria will be self-sufficient to cater to its own agricultural consumption. So. The Dongote Industries Limited built the largest granulated urea fertilizer complex in Africa. This product, that will cost over $2.5 billion, consists of two 2,200 metric tons per day ammonia plants, two 4,000 metric tons per day urea plants, two 4,000 metric tons per day urea granulation plants, a captive power plant comprising of three steam turbine generators of 40 megawatts capacity each, a total of 120 megawatts, and three auxiliary boilers for 40 ATA steam generation of 200 TE capacity each. Beyond the energy of activity known with Lagos, a first of its kind was unraveling in Africa's most populous country, the movement of massive equipment for the Dongote fertilizer complex, a bold and audacious endeavor. Two fifty seven PM. The barge arrives Eco Bridge, covering a distance of less than two kilometers in four hours. An Abuja shuttle airplane would have made the journey four times over. Understanding that Nigeria would need about 5 to 7 million metric tons fertilizer per annum, and with the current levels at about 1.2 million metric tons per annum, the Dongote fertilizer complex will be producing 3 million metric tons per annum of urea fertilizer in just its phase one. Fertilizers like NPK and DAP will be added in the next phases. From when the civil works began, it was obvious history was in the making. This gas will act as both feedstock and supply for the steam turbine generators. It's not just selling fertilizer, but changing the face of agriculture, bringing in a green revolution and focusing on, which will help the country to get, uh, get full, full security. Given the fact that the fertilizer plant is in Nigeria, you can actually model specifically the needs of farmers, depending on the crop. That way they get the right fertilizer, not the one they just bag in and, and sell. But for us, we're able to meet with the farmers, identify their needs, and design and produce what exactly they need for their farm. That's on one side. But you know, it's not enough to just sell fertilizer to people. You want to see them grow from the beginning to the end. When we do that, then you will see the real benefit of using fertilizer in farming. You know, I mean, instead of you to have two tons per hectare in terms of yield, you end up having six to eight tons. And that means 
uh, you know, agriculture will actually open up. Uh, farmers will realize that yes, they can make quite a lot of money. It is not a poor man's business anymore. This is the control room of the plant. It houses the distribution control system of the four units of the plant. Utilities, ammonia, urea and bagging. These four units oversee the production process. These white balls, happily moving along, are at 99.8% purity level of urea. The urea fertilizer is now ready for bagging. This bagging plant has three lines, the 50 kilogram line, the one ton line, and the export storage unit. This automated bagging unit is an endless stream of motion. Bags are loaded and are on their way to some incredibly happy customers. It is equally a busy day at the jetty where the fertilizer is being loaded for export. This vessel is a 30,000 ton capacity ship and it will soon be on its way to Mexico.